just a few minutes earlier you had Vintas Dezerta leading the beam formation. It had now come in front of you to provide a glimpse of its capabilities for the roles that it would be expected to perform. Ladies and gentlemen, here we have in front of us the light ability helicopter which has now performed a high speed run followed by a steep descending turn, dropping speed to come in front of us. The LUS is a three-ton helicopter with a single RD-10-1U engine. It's been developed as a replacement to the Indian Armed Forces aging Chetak and Cheetah fleet of single-engine helicopters. The LUS now is saluting the dais and is now readying itself to perform some unique helicopter maneuvers. The side will fly at high speed. Designing a helicopter for India's vast and varied terrain with its concrete requirements is a daunting task. HAL has looked up to this challenge, achieving it completely in-house. This helicopter has already completed all the necessary flight trials and has achieved initial operational clearance from the certification authorities. The NUH now is performing another very unique maneuver pirouette. This maneuver where the helicopter points to the same location while going around it demonstrates the tail rotor power available and the tail rotor effectiveness. The NUH is being flown by HA's Chief Test Pilot Wing Commander Wendy Pillai along with Wing Commander Bambani as it now spirals up to position itself for performing other maneuvers. This aircraft, after its operational clearance from certification authorities, is now ready to be operated from anywhere, be it the glacier of the plains, or the sandy desert dunes, or even the high seas. Another unique feature of LUH is its segmented blades on the hingeless main rotor system. A first for HAL in its helicopter design, achieved completely through in-house expertise. The LUH is now ready to perform a couple of stall turns in front of us. Segmented blades would enable rapid folding and unfolding of blades, making it handy for transportation, parking and years back. And today it's in front of us, fully ready for operational exploitation. Here she comes in front of us to perform a stall turn once again, and this time to its right. Ladies and gentlemen, the light utility helicopter